Excuse me. How much longer do we have to wait? Because we've already been here two hours. My daughter is sick and I have an interview I need to get to. Okay, I am so sorry. A bus flipped over um, earlier today. Our emergency room is backed up, but we are trying to see everybody as soon as possible. Look, you've told me this three times already. This is ridiculous. My daughter is sick and somebody left that loud child in the waiting room unattended. Like who would do that? I need to be seen, okay? He, he can't help it, he's autistic, ma'am. Uh, is his mother special needs too? Like who would leave their child unattended in a waiting room? I need to be seen, okay? I'll see if there's a doctor available. Please have a seat. Finally. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're gonna be seeing soon, okay? I'm hungry too. Okay, get up real quick. Let me get you something out the bag. Let me see what we have in here. Oh, are you dumb? You need to sit down somewhere. What's wrong with you? You okay, baby? Excuse okay. me? What did you say to my son? This idiot just knocked my child over. Uh, he's autistic. And you have no right to be calling a child names. <sighs> Wait a minute. I know you. Kareen, right? Yes, that's me. And your child has been making noises for over two hours and my daughter is sick and she cannot sleep, okay? I'm sorry that you've been waiting for so long. I couldn't take my son back there with all those sick kids, especially with my daughter being sick. He has a feeding tube, he gets sick easily, but he still deserves to be respected. Wait a minute, do I know you? I'm Carrie Alden, the owner of Green Fairy Salons. If I'm understanding correctly, you should be in my office in about 45 minutes for an interview. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. Listen, my daughter is sick and I'm just on edge. I didn't mean any disrespect. Yet you still fixed your mouth to disrespect my son and call him names knowing he couldn't defend himself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't bother coming to the interview. I really need this job. If we don't get this job, we're gonna be ineligible for the shelter. We're gonna have to start the process all over again. Just give me another chance. Listen, at my salon, we're a family. We show nothing but respect to people and we're humble to our faces and behind our backs. You're just sorry you got caught. Please, just give me another chance. I'm really not like this. Please. I wish you the best, and I'm sorry about your situation. Uh, but I can't hire someone like you who could even, out of anger, bully a little boy. Come on, son. Come on. Uh, the doctor will be able to see you now. You can head to the back room. Thank you. The moral of the story is, treat everyone with respect like you'd like to be shown. You never know when you might need to cross that bridge. Understand people's abilities and stop focusing on their disabilities. Everyone deserves love and support. Bullies come in all ages and sizes. Speak up for yourself and never let them prevail you.